Hi everybody, welcome to another video in Math 1332, section 5.3, the rational numbers. So rational numbers is anything that can be written in the fraction form, uh, where a and b are both integers, uh, b is not zero, we can never divide by zero. The top, a is the numerator, the bottom is the denominator. Right. So anything can be put in fraction is considered rational numbers. Uh, when the numerator of a fraction has a smaller absolute value than the numerator, we call that a proper fraction. And uh, if the other way around, that will be improper. So for example, uh, 2 over 3, this is proper. And 5 over 2, uh, bigger on top, that is improper. Right now, uh, the rational numbers. Uh, rational numbers. So anything can be put in fraction, right? So obviously one half is a fraction. Uh, of course, if you try that, it's a decimal zero point five. So that certainly either one half or zero point five. Both of them are rational numbers. Or if you have two thirds. 2 that is uh, 0 0.6666 repeating. So that is a ra rational numbers as the 2 third. Of course, we have may have 2, which is 2 over 1, which is also rational numbers. Right? So rational numbers involve uh, any decimal could be terminated or repeating. Or anything can be put in fraction. It's rational numbers. And we have uh, proper fraction, improper fraction. Right, next, uh, write the following number as mixed number if possible. So 15 over 6. So the mixed number uh, is where we have to work for the improper fraction. So this one is improper, then yes, we can write this as a mixed number. This is improper, right? So 15, 6, just take 6, go to 15, 6 go to 15, 2 times, 2 times 6, 12, subtract that 3, so the remainder 3. So we say uh, 15 over 6 is 2 and 3 on the top, 6 in the bottom. And then 3 and 6, if you divide 3 top and bottom, uh, we have two and one half. So that is the mixed number in reduced term. Uh, negative three over five, this is not improper. Or this, we just say this is a proper fraction. So we cannot write as mixed number. Cannot be written X mixed number. Next, write 5 and 2 thirds as an uh, improper fraction. Right? right? So this is a mixed number. We just have to write that as an improper fraction. So if we divide here to get the remainder on the top, uh, here we have to multiply. So 5 times 3, and then plus the top, that's 17. So you have 5 2 thirds equals 17 over 3. Next we have some simplification here. It says that reduce a fraction to the lowest term. So we will divide top and bottom by the common numbers. It doesn't have to be the biggest one. If you can just work step by step, uh, both them are even. How about divide by 2? I said we don't have to get there in one step. We say, well, both of them uh, divisible by 3, top and bottom. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 by 3 is 4. So that's 3 fourths. Right? We don't have to get there in one step. Uh, just 
do that improve our situation right I have 130 over what for 55 well uh, it's n with 0 and n with 5 so both of them are divisible by 5 Divide by 5 top and bottom Six is ninety one. What well, is ninety one divided by anything? No, nope. not tucked in. Actually, ninety one divided by seven. Actually, yeah, so 91 divided by 7 is 13. Yes, so we can divide top and bottom by 13. Uh, so that will be 2 over 7. Now, another way to do this is do the prime factoring. Uh, 130, uh, there's 2, and 65, 5, and 13. Uh, 455 by 5 is 91 7 13 right so 130 455 130 is 2 times 5 times 13 uh, 455 5 times 7 times 13 and then we just cross out each one of 13 one of 13 one of 5 and I'll put 2 over 7. Right, so that's another way to do that. Uh, next we have multiply. Multiply or divide in fraction. Uh, where we multiply, multiply straight top and bottom. And divide, divide two fraction is multiply the reciprocal. Reciprocal is where we flip the fraction A over B becomes B over A. So where we multiply, just multiply straight forward. 5 times 3 and 8 times 5 of course we can multiply them first and then simplify later but uh, it's better if they have 8 factor we can just go ahead and cancel out of 5 and we have 3 over 8 right. next we have uh, 2 mixed number I will convert that to improper fraction first I don't know how I write like that Four times one plus three over four. That's seven over four. And then two and two fifths. Uh, five times two plus two over five. So that's twelve over five. So this product is equal to seven over four times twelve over five. So multiply 7 times 12, 4 times 5. Like I said, we can just multiply and determine if they cancel out later. So 4 and 12 cancel out. That 3, so that's 21 over 5. Next, right. Now this is just like when we did with the uh, integers previous section. If they have the same sign, positive, opposite sign, negative. Now they have the opposite sign, it will end up being negative. Two times twenty-one, seven times eight. Now seven and twenty-one, uh, both of them divide by seven. So cross out the seven. 21 divided by 73 like that and then 2 and 8 uh, divide 2 divided by 2 is 1 8 divided by 2 is 4 just cross out there so 1 left and so it's much better to reduce before we multiply 1 times 3 3 that over 4 
Okay, simple enough. Simplify before we actually uh, multiply them. That will be better. Right, next. This is divide. Uh, since divide opposite sign, so there will be negative. And we're just going to flip the second fraction. Do that on purpose. Just demonstrate that. We have to flip it a over 5. Now we multiply straight across. A and 4 divide 4 by 4 is 1, A divided by 4 is 2, uh, negative 6 over 5. So, just flip the second fraction and the size is just like integers. Right, next. Flip the second fraction. See if they can simplify. In this case, there is a big no. Uh, that should be 99 over 8. Right. Multiply divide actually easier than add or subtract for fraction. For add or subtract, uh, they have to have the same denominator. In that case, it's add or subtract the numerator. So the key here is same denominator. So if they have the same of 12, we just need to add the top. That's uh, 14 over 12. And both of them are even. Of course, you can cross out that 7 over 6, or you can just say divide by 2 top and bottom. That will be 7 over 6. Uh, next, uh, this, uh, they don't have the common denominator. So in that case, we cannot just add subtract as is. We have to convert them to the same thing. Right. So, 1 fourth and 5 over 6. It is not a negative for a moment. Now we have to find something not common. Something that can divide by 4. Something that can divide by 6. Uh, so, uh, the least common multiple 4 and 6. is uh, maybe 24 but that's not list the list would be 12 because 12 is divisible by 4 and 6 are 12 divisible by 6 so we want to get to 12 both of them in order to get to 12 we multiply by 3 and in order to get to 12 we multiply by 2 so that will be 3 over 12 and 10 over 12 So try to find the common denominator, common denominator, and how to get there. Multiply the same thing on the top by that same number. Right. So that gives us one fourth is three over twelve minus uh, five or six is ten over twelve. Common denominator of twelve, three minus seven, just uh, three minus ten on the top. That gives us negative 7 over 12. Right. Next, uh, if we have mixed number, convert to fraction first. Uh, 2, 1 half, plus 3 and 1 fourth. Right. 2 times 2 plus 1 over 2 
and then three uh, four times three that's one over four that gives us five or two plus 13 over 4 yeah convert to fraction right and now when we add them um, just give you an example if I ask you to add 1 dime plus 1 quarter it's not going to be 2 right because they're different things it's not going to be 2 it's 2 coins yes uh, so a dime Uh, one dime uh, is zero point one dollars or ten cents, and one quarter is zero point two five. In that case, when we add them, we have zero point thirty five cents, right? Or if we put in fraction, uh, ten cents over one hundred, that's twenty five over one hundred. We only can only can add if they have the same common denominator, right? So same thing here. Uh, 5 over 2 and 13 over 4 so what common denominator that they have something that divisible by 2 and something divisible by 4 of course you might say 8 but actually even better how about just 4 right because 4 divisible by 2 as well so that case we just have 13 over 4 uh, now to get to 4 multiply by 2 top and bottom So that's what we have. So that we have 10 over 4 plus 13 over 4. That is 23 over 4. Of course, uh, the answer in the improper fraction are uh, just fine. We just can't live like that. Unless we can simplify, do that otherwise. Fraction is good. Right, next, uh, 5 or 8. Uh, now we write that as a fraction. So as mentioned before, uh, rational numbers, rational numbers, can be uh, terminated decimal or repeated decimal because all of them can be written as fraction. So how do we write a fraction of this uh, five or eight? How do we write this as a decimal? Well, to do that, we just gonna divide. Five I'm going to. Uh, 8 going to 5 yeah, the bottom goes to top uh, because that's 0 times and then carry uh, 0 8 go to 50 6 times 6 times 8 48 subtract that 2 roughly 0 uh, 8 go to 24 times I'm sorry 2 times Two times a sixteen, subtract that four, and a will forty five times evenly. So that is zero point six two five. Now five with six. Uh, five divided by six. Sorry, I have to just say it. Uh, 6 going to 5. Bottom goes to the top. Uh, 0 times 6 going to 58 times 8 times 6, 48. Subtract. We have 2. 20, uh, 6 going to 23 times. And that gives us 2. And six over to twenty three times. As you see, it just keep also always have two and then carry zero twenty divided by six three. So we just keep doing that. Uh, so that's zero point eight three 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 repeating. Or we just say zero point eight where the three is repeating. So that is how we change from a fraction to decimal. Just divide the bottom, uh, going to the top. Or divide the top by the bottom. Now the other way around. Uh, how do we write this as a decimal? 
this decimal as a fraction. So, 0 0.4, one decimal place, just say 4 divided by 10. If it's one decimal place divided by 10, if it's 2 divided by 100. Right, so that's fractional, right? Uh, but we just need to make sure that is simplified, right? So, uh, the f top one is easy. What we do, we just divide two top and bottom. That gives us two fifths. And it's reduced fraction, which is good. Now, 512 and 100. Uh, look like both of them can be divided by two or four. At 25 and 1. 28 over 25. Yeah, so write the fraction uh, depends on how many decimal places. For example, if we have uh, the fraction will be 5257 five, over 3 decimal places, 3 zero, which means a thousand. Of course, we reduce this if possible, and we just go from there. Now, what's more interesting is something like this is re repeating. How do we write this uh, so that it will be a fraction? It is rational numbers, therefore, I should be able to put that in fraction. All right, so uh, here's a little bit tricky. So, put eight repeating, meaning the eight repeating. Now, what I do is what if I multiply the old? 10 on both sides. That gives us 8.888. And now what if I subtract the 0 0.8? So that Subtract, give us 8. And to have 10 of something, minus 1 of something. Just like 10 chickens, minus 1 chicken is 9 chicken. Now we have 10 of something, minus 1 of something is 9 of something. And now we just divide. So we have 0 0.8, therefore equal to 8 divided by 9. Just like that. Now zero point fifty six, zero point five six, five six, five six. Now this is two uh, digit repeating. Uh, so in that case, what we have to do is multiply by one hundred instead. If there are two digit repeating, multiply by one hundred. It was fifty six, five six, five six, five six. Now, if I subtract one of the zero point five six, if I subtract them of that case out, that gives us fifty six. 100 of something minus 1 of something is 99. So that's what we have. Uh, so we have 0 0.56 equal to 56 over 99. Right. Uh, the last thing I try to say is do you see the pattern here? The pattern here is if we have zero and then something repeating right after that, uh, in that case we just have that digit over how many nines we have. So with that, uh, what is 0 0.123 repeating? What well, we see? The repeating part right after the zero. So we're just going to say that over three nines because there are three digits repeating. Right, so that pattern, of course, we should reduce this. But in terms of fraction, uh, that's all we have. By the way, 56 over 99, uh, we cannot reduce that. 
because 99 can only break down to 3 3 times 3 times 11 because if we do the prime factoring 3 square times 11 where 56 is 7 times 8 which is uh, 2 cube times 7 yeah we cannot reduce that so 56 over 99 but bottom line is uh, depends on how many digits it is repeating uh, just divide by how many nines we have the, the key part here is it is only after the decimal place if you have 1.23 we cannot do that from from this case uh, we have to do like we do here multiply by 100 and then subtract it so that would be better right right uh, so with that uh, we finish section 5.3 here as always thank you for watching and see you in another video in math 1332